Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a lemon garden. You go, lemon garden? Where did that idea come from? I often get asked, where do you get your inspiration? And I'll be honest with you, it comes from the oddest places. The lemon garden came from our learning center. We had a class and there were lemons left over and I thought, I have a case of lemons. What am I going to do with a case of lemons? And I thought, well, I guess I'll have to plant a garden. For my container, a bright orange plastic tray. Now I don't want tape to show, so rather than using waterproof tape to anchor my foam in, I've done two anchor pins that I've secured to the base using a U-glue dash. Then I can take a half a brick of foam and just set it on and it will be secure and stable. I won't have to worry about concealing my tape later. Of course, I do want to go through and score my corners so I have a nice surface to work with. Then, I need to prepare my lemons. For that, four inch wood picks. They come with a wire on them. I don't need the wire, just go ahead and cut that off. And then, looking at the lemons, oftentimes there's a bad side. That's where you want to insert your sticks. So you don't want that to show. You want only the pretty side to show. Again, now this one's all pretty nice, so I can use my sticks anywhere. But notice I'm using two sticks in each lemon. That makes it more stable. Then to ensure that they don't fall off the stick as it starts to dehydrate, just a small dab of the floral adhesive cold glue, and that will lock it into place. I like to start with my line flowers, establish the direction of the design, snapdragons, absolutely perfect. So giving it a cut and then placing it towards the back and letting it soar upwards and then paying attention. They all have a little different angle to them. I'm working with that. If it wants to angle outward slightly, letting it do so, grouping them together. This one looks a little bit that direction, maybe cut him a tad bit shorter bringing it forward, and then repeating another line, maybe with roses. So you don't have to have just line flowers to create a line. A form flower like a rose, it can create a line as well. Placing it in, maybe taking off some of the leaves so it's not quite so heavy, and then stair-stepping it down towards the front. Let me remove that leaf. and then all the way down towards the bottom. For the accent, I want to bring both the orange and the yellow down to the base of the design. So using my lemons, they'll tuck in perfectly right down at the base, maybe even lifting them up a little. And then I've got the beautiful protea, giving it a cut, snapping it off, and then letting it come in nice and low, tucking it down with the lemons. And then another one. You can see the lemons bring the yellow down and the pincushion protea bring the orange down, giving me a nice strong base to the arrangement. Before I finish the arrangement, I want to fill in the accent a little more and start covering some of my mechanics. Galix leaves, perfect for that. Give it a cut and then just slide it right down underneath the materials so it helps to break the line of the container. Gives a little more visual impact. You can even roll them and then tuck them down in between. And then carrying the eye on back, bringing them to the reverse side of the arrangement, helping to cover the mechanics, making sure the foam doesn't show, tucking it through, terracing. And then for a little more interest and contrast, adding in a few more blooms, maybe some of the Crispedia or Billy Balls tucked in. I'm going to be a little bit longer over the top of the others to give a slightly different texture, but still carrying out that bright yellow, the vivid color. And then if you do it in the front, 
you want to bring it down a little bit closer to the bottom to help carry through and then also bring it around to the back so it's not a polka dot just in one spot. So full and lush at the base. Time to bring more up towards the top. A little bit of ruscus coming up with the roses. Filling it in fuller. Letting it hang out a bit. See how it comes to the side. Pulling it in. Maybe not quite so far. I'll shorten it slightly. Letting it come outward. And then some of the leucodendron. Letting it come outward on the opposite side. Still keeping it vertical but a, a little bit of an angle. Not a lot, but just enough so that it adds some fullness to the arrangement. Bringing it around and then looking for the mechanics. Making sure that all the foam is concealed. Even taking a little bit of the ruscus, sneaking it right down through the center to fill in that hole. Last step, adding a dynamic line. Everything is static, quite vertical, adding in a curved bit of the willow. Bring it off to this side. Enhances, gives a little more interest. Give me a second piece. Still coming in as though it's coming on the same stem, right up and over. And then one last bit of leucodendron to bring that darker color right down to the base. fresh and contemporary, a summer garden with lemons. Now you may wonder, because as I teach in class, you never put produce in your flower cooler. So are you wondering, are the lemons going to kill the flowers? No, it'll be fine. It's going to be out in the air. The lemons are not going to shorten the life at all. But good question. You remembered what we taught you in school. Now it's your turn. If you need more inspiration, if you have questions, if you just want to look other things up, you can find us on the website at flowerschool.com or feel free to contact us by telephone. Give me a call at 1-800-819-8089. And then as you create your own fantasy garden, take a picture. I'd love to see. You can send it to my personal email. It's leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.